Alright, this pet show we're going to be showing how to clip bird wings. We're going to start with uh, our parrotlet Stewie and then I'm going to cut my uh, cockatiel birdies wings after that. Now clipping wings does not hurt the birds at all. It's something you should do. Uh, especially when you have a new bird, it helps train them because they won't fly away from you as much. And like my mom's bird, it actually flew away. Uh, I got outside and flew away. So if your bird's wings are clipped, something like, like that can't happen. And it really does help them train because they can't fly away from you, so they'll be less likely to, you know, fly up on top of windows and such. So to cut a bird's wing, Stewie's pretty good about it. Birdie's a lot worse, so we'll do her next. But for a nice bird like Stewie, you just kind of hold them in your hand. Depends on how big they are, but for a small bird like this, like a parakeet, just kind of hold them in your hand. You're just going to want to pull out one wing and hold it out. with your fingers like this. It doesn't hurt him at all. He's not, he's not hurt at all. And then take your scissors and you're going to want to clip up on the wing just like halfway down the feathers. If you clip too far you can make them bleed. So never start clipping too far. Start out clipping less before you go more. Don't clip all the way down the wing. You mainly want to clip off these top feathers. You don't have to clip off all the way down the wing to, to the, by his body. So it's real simple. You just hold it out and then you just cut him off. He doesn't feel it, he didn't react at all. And then you do the other wing. Start out not clipping too much. If you have to clip off more because he can still fly, you can do that. But you, if you clip too far, he can bleed. And that's it. He's done and he doesn't even know. He went back to his cage. And now Birdie, I'll grab her out. I'm going to use a towel on her because she'll bite me while we're holding her. She's nice to me, but if we're holding her while she cut while we cut her wings, she will bite me. So I use a towel for her. And I've actually let them fly for a while. I'm cutting their wings because they've been kind of annoying flying away and not really paying attention as much to us. Kind of acting like they rule the, rule the house. So. I'm grabbing her, just hold on one second. Alright, so with a with a towel, I've got her in here. And I'm going to have Cassie cut this one because it's harder. She's completely fine, but when you hold them in a towel, they'll just be calmer. They can't move. So I'm going to hold her in the towel. I'm going to spread the wing, and then Cassie's going to cut just the end feathers there. Let me see if it's on film. There we go. She's going to cut just the end feathers off here. Right there. Cut them um, a little bit higher because I usually cut them a little higher on her. She could still fly. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And then we'll flip the towel. And then we'll do the other side. Just cut them right there. Yep. And then that's it. And she just went back to her cage. Now they'll still be able to fly across the room, but they won't be able to fly around. They'll fly down. Uh, they won't be able to keep flying consistently, and they shouldn't be able to get on top of windows. So that was it. It's real simple. And as you can see, they didn't even notice. They probably don't even know what I did until they try to fly later and they realize they can't get anywhere. So, it's a pet show on how to clip your bird wings. See you next week.